Hi, Dr. Peltov here. Uh, I'm going to do a little tutorial here about using Shockwave for the office. So there's two different types of Shockwave devices. Um, there is something called Radial Shockwave and something called Focus Shockwave. Uh, radial Shockwave uses sound waves to injure the tissue to help stimulate blood flow. There are two main tips we use in podiatry. Uh, one is called the cobalt tip, which is a darker blackish color and the other one is a metallic one. It's a metallic color. So if you compare the two of them, the cobalt one is, is bigger and it's softer. And the metallic one is smaller and it, it's harder. This one hurts more. So if you're doing an area such as a bony prominence, it's gonna hurt more. So a couple of bony prominences would be the navicular tuberosity, the posterior insertion of the Achilles tendon, or like the, the sesamoids. Those, you would have to be careful using the metallic tip. You would, might wanna use a cobalt tip. The metallic tip does a very good job on the plantar fascia, on the posterior tibial tendon, and on the Achilles tendon in the back of the foot. Uh, so today we're gonna to use the, the less intense one. And I wanna talk about one of the common problems when you're putting on these tips. If you put on the tip and there is not the, you can see there's a little purple purple washer. This little washer, eventually it wears out and it might break or it might fall off. This needs to be on, this little like silicone washer and the silicone washer here. If you miss one of these, if one of these is missing and you put it on there, the, the tip, it's a little piece of metal is gonna go back and forth and it'll pop out. And the way to fix that is you cover it with a little piece of plastic and you hit it with a, a hammer. You have to have a hammer, a real small hammer, to hit it to go back inside of there. Uh, that's, that's what's making the ballistic type of, of motion. I'm going to put this on top of here and then this is going to go inside here. So this is how we, how we, how we set it up. And then when I'm, when I'm positioning, I think one of the keys when, when doing shockwave is you want to position the patient in a way where you don't have to be bending around a lot you want it to be right at your eye level. Uh, when I do shockwave, I usually start a little bit on the posterior tibial tendon, and then I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna do the foot region. There's a couple ways you can, you can do this. You can use something called the reactor. This one here, you can do on the back of the calf. It's very similar to doing foam rolling or doing a, other type of work. So uh, many of my patients, what I'll do is I'll start on the back of the calf initially, and it turns on and off by itself, so it's called the, the V-actor. And it starts like this, and then it'll, it'll shut off after about a minute or so. And so with this, I do the back of the calf, very similar to foam rolling. And, I'll, and you can spend time on any soft tissue that's very tight, such as the posterior tibial tendon or the Achilles tendon. Once it's done, it's going to shut off. And I tend to have some... Um, paper towels just to wipe it off and then the staff will, is also going to wipe it off afterwards. And then you can take some of this and do it down on the bottom of the heel as well. Now for the plantar fascia what I do is I do an area about the size of a, a dollar bill. So that's the whole area that you do. And when you do it there are different settings. So usually you, you reset it by hitting these two on the side and I, I usually start out at about two, that's two bars, and at about 15 hertz. So 15 hertz is very fast, two bars is very low, and then I slowly increase it. So I'll do 15 hertz quite fast, and then I'll increase this. So let me show you. And I, and I go back and forth, I kind of go back and forth the size of the dollar bill. and you're putting a little bit of pressure and you, you reduce the pressure in the arch. So you push more pressure on the heel and reduce it in the arch. And then I, a, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go back and forth. Okay, so I do this and then I increase it. I try to get it up to at least 2.5. And if they have pain, they'll let me know. If it hurts too much, I'll, I'll go down. My mistake in the past is I used to try to get everyone up to 3.5 or 4, and the pain level should be about a 5 or a 6. It shouldn't go beyond 
a five or a six in the pain level. But for many of my plantar fascia, so for soft tissue, you want to respect the soft tissue. So 2.5 to three bars is all you need. For, for bone, if you want to get bone penetration, you might have to go higher as well. So I do this for the plantar fascia. In that way, I'll do about, if I'm doing a combo, which is radial and focused, I'll do 1,500. If I'm doing just radial, I'll do 2,500 pulses. So now I'm going to have this patient kind of go over on her stomach, and I'm going to show how to do it, how to do the Achilles. Okay. So the way I do the Achilles would be would be similar. So I'm going to have you scoot down just a tad. I have them down with their foot down, and then you would take this other area here, and you would do the same thing. You would do an area about the size of a of a bill. And you have to get make sure you have enough of the ultrasound gel. So for this, the area that is very painful is going to be the insertion of the Achilles right down on the bone here. And so for a lot of them, this is you have to pull up a little bit if you're using the gold tip. I'm using the cobalt tip so it it's okay. And so I go down this way, up here, down here. Here. and I go down about 2,000 pulses. Now some patients they have Achilles and plantar fascia so if you have both you can then come down and treat the plantar fascia on the bottom. So with the, with the, with the radial shock wave you're doing a bigger surface area about the size of a dollar bill or your palm of your hand and you're going to use all 2,000 pulses going up to their tolerance level. Okay. Then after I do that I will do the focus shock wave. So this is the focus shock wave. This is a tall standoff. So what that means is the, the, the focus is going to focus down into a point right about here. So most of the things we do in the foot and ankle are close to the skin. If you wanted to penetrate very deep into like the quadriceps or something like that, you would take off this deep standoff and then it would, it would penetrate deeper into the skin. Um, every day in the morning, the staff, they put a little little EPAT oil, you can say it says EPAT oil, they put a little dab on there. If you put too much it's going to drain on your pants and it's not a good thing so you know you don't want to put too much on there. Um, with, the, with the focused you don't move it around as much so the focused you want to use an area about the size of a quarter so it's a really small area or you don't move it around at all. Um, in terms of the settings I always leave it at 8 Hertz okay um, reset it and click these two. I usually start out at 0.2 or even 1.5 till they get used to it and then I'll increase it and I usually add about 8 hertz so we'll see how she she does on on the Achilles and with this you want to do the, the area of maximal pain so on the Achilles tendon where the insertion is you're going to go right here and then kind of the medial and the lateral side if you have 4,000 pulses then you can divide it let's say into four spots so four spots at 500 500 impacts each so you feel that? Yeah, she's feeling that. So that's at 0.15 and at the insertion it tends to hurt. So then I just stay here. You can either just stay here or if you want, if they have pain, you can move around in the size of a quarter. You don't want to go big motions with the focus. You want to stay very, very close and you just kind of keep it on the insertion of the Achilles tendon and you would kind of do it about, or, or even just leave it there, and you leave it on the maximal pain. And so the patients are going to tell you where it's hurting. That's, that's really your thermometer. If there's no pain, then that's not an inflamed area. So you leave it there for about 500, area, 500 pulses, then do another 500, and you can increase it to tolerance. You feel that? Yeah. Yeah. Feel it over here? Yep. Yeah, so it's, it's hurting all around. How about down here on the heel? No. no. So with the, once again, when you're working right on the bone, like on the back of the heel, you can't go up as high. When you're on the, the bottom of the heel where there's more padding and more fat, you can, you can increase it and they're not going to notice it as much. But for the heel as well, you're going to hit right on the area of maximal pain. You just kind of sit it down, sit it down there. Now the biggest problem with the, with the focus shock wave is sometimes it has a little um, thing on here that shows you have to fill it up. And what that means is you run out of this water in the back. So there's... There's a little connector here. You have to add a tube of, I think it's saline. Is it, is it saline that you guys have there? What is that? It's like saline. And you, and you put it up and you, and you let it drain inside of there and it'll fill up. That's the only problem that we've ever had 
with this, and the only problem we've had with this is the bullet kind of going through. So those are the main tips about doing, doing shockwave for patients. Usually I do 2,000 of the focused. Now the focused you can also use on arthritis, like if you're doing an area of the midfoot arthritis, you can use it on sesamoiditis, you can use it on accessory bones that are painful, uh, all types of soft tissue. You can use it on fractures because it has bone penetration. You can use it on osteochondral defects of the talus. Uh, if you go really, really deep inside, those are going to be more painful. So you have to be kind of patient with the patient and, and they have to titrate the pain accordingly. You can always, I always start low and then I increase according to their pain tolerance.